Cats. So I've been on tour a bunch this year and for a lot of the shows that I've done, I've done master classes beforehand. And I keep on getting this question in my master classes, what do you do for warm up exercises? Well, there's an infinite amount of warm up exercises that you can do in music, of course, but here are 10 of my absolute favorites. And so we're gonna go through the music on this. I'm gonna play a little bit of keyboards. I'm gonna talk about how all these exercises work. If you want the PDFs, they're all gonna be available in a PDF package on my website. So you can just go to my website, link it in the description to check out all the sheet music. It's gonna be written out for you in all 12 keys, all that good stuff. So cool, getting into our first exercise here. So the first exercise is gonna be a major scale exercise, of course. Scales, super important. Uh, people a lot of times make the mistake of thinking that they can just learn all their scales, go up and down, and voila, you're good, and you can use your scales. Not really the truth at all. You need to be able to play different shapes with these scales in order to get different types of colors and to use your, uh, to fully utilize uh, the, the full spectrums of sound that you can get uh, with different scales. So, to start, we're gonna do a major scale exercise. <laughs> We're gonna start in B-flat major concert, so it's gonna be C for all you B-flat instruments, uh, myself included. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this shape where we go one, two, three, four, five, just step up to the fifth. Then we're gonna step down to the third, and then skip down to the root. Then we repeat that shape going up the modes. Still keeping it all within the scale. So on tenor, that's gonna sound like this. All right, great exercise. Now when you go down, uh, all the PDFs are gonna have this all written out, all 12 keys, ascending and descending. But when you go down, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. You're not gonna go as high, you're gonna go up to four. And you're gonna go back to the same note, then you're gonna do the skip right here. So it's gonna sound like this. The reason for that is it just doesn't voice lead as well if you do that same shape. It doesn't voice lead as well. So that's why we mix up the shape a little bit. It still takes the same idea of doing a bunch of steps with one little skip in there that really helps mix up the shape. And then we work that going down the degrees instead of up the degrees of the scale. Cool. Next exercise, so we're, gonna, we're gonna actually use that diatonic exercise for this next exercise, for exercise number two. It's gonna be an approach note exercise. With this, we're also gonna step up the scale. One, two, three, four, five, four, three. Then when we get to here, we're gonna add in a chromatic approach note. So we're gonna add a chromatic approach note just in between the notes, in between D and C concerts, so E and D for B flat in instruments like me. And sometimes we're gonna have to dip below the note like we did there when we don't have room, uh, you know, the structure of the scale. We have two half steps in the scale on the major scale between the third and fourth and the seventh and the root. So when we don't have room in between notes like we do here, like we don't here, we're gonna wrap around the note and then continue. So the whole exercise will sound like this. That might sound familiar, that's what I started the video with here. Now for descending, we don't have to go as high, just like in the, uh, the scale exercise we did before, just up to the fourth. Great, awesome, so that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, we're gonna go back to a scale exercise here. So now we're gonna take a different diatonic shape. We're gonna go one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one and work that up the scale. So that's gonna sound like this. Sorry. Great, good stuff. Now, when we go down, we can use that same shape. We don't have to adjust anything, we're just gonna connect it downwards. Great, good stuff. All right, cool. So now we're gonna add chromaticism to that as well, and we're gonna get we're gonna get exercise number four. This is gonna be a scale enclosure exercise. So we got one, two, three, five, four, all the way through. Then we approach the next scale tone with two half steps above the note and one half step below. So it sounds like that. One, two, three, five, four. Approach it with two from above, one from below. Sounds like this. Then 
Then when we go down, we're going to change the shape. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one for the diatonic shape. Beautiful. All right, on to the next. Exercise five. Exercise five is going to be an arpeggio exercise. So probably a lot of you know this. It's a really important one. We should be able to arpeggiate up each degree of the scale. So we're creating different arpeggios, just doing every note, every other note of the scale, building up from each degree. So in concert, we've got B flat major, C minor, D minor, E flat major, F7, G minor, A half diminished, and then B flat major again. So all that, just take it up a step if you're a B flat instrument. Great, descending. We turn the shape around and do it in reverse. Again, ascending, descending, all 12 keys up on the website. So cool, moving on. Now, you guessed it, we're also gonna use that exercise for exercise six. This one's super hard. This is a, a great exercise though, really super important to get down. So we're gonna approach every chord tone that we just did, every arpeggio note, with a chromatic approach note. So it's gonna end up sounding like this. This one's really hard, here's how it sounds on tenor. Going down. All right, cool. Definitely want to take a look at that one on the website uh, just to make sure you're doing it all right. So that's that exercise. Great. Now we're moving on to exercise seven. So we're going to do a pentatonic exercise here. So much that you can do with pentatonics. Oh my God, it's such a, such a cool world. Um, but for now, just one exercise that's really hip on this. We're gonna start in concert C minor. And so what you wanna be able to do with the pentatonics is you want to be able to do different shapes with them just like you wanna do with major scales. You wanna be able to do that with pentatonic scales. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna step all the way up, step down, almost all the way down, but we're gonna skip a degree on the way down, the second degree, so the minor third. And then we'll continue like that up the scale. So on tenor, it's going to sound like this. Great. Awesome. Now when we go down, we're going to reverse it. Awesome. Good stuff. So there's pentatonic exercise. Great stuff. All 12 keys. Sending, descending on the website. Exercise 8. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna get into triad pairs, also known as hexatonics. The way that you build one of these scales is you take two triads that don't share a note. Anything that qualifies uh, you know, under those principles, that's a triad pair. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a B flat and C. And that type of sound works really well um, uh, in a few different places. Um, one, one place that I like doing that is just a C7 chord. Cool, so that would be doing the triplets. That's great, we'll get to triplet exercises in a second. But what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna turn this into an eighth note exercise using the triads. We're going to repeat a note. And by the way, yeah, this works great in uh, uh, speaking in concert, uh, C7 and G minor seven, or for tenor, uh, D7 and A minor seven. So, all right, great, we're gonna repeat a note. We're gonna come back to the middle note. And we're going to keep on doing that, building up each triad. Now when we go around, uh, when we go down, we also want to um, uh, reverse the shape so we don't just go. That's great to do as well, but it doesn't voice, voice lead as well, so we're going to go. Great. So that's exercise eight. 
Now exercise nine, we're gonna do a chromatic exercise. Cool, same thing with the chromatic scales. You don't wanna just shoot up and down a chromatic scale and leave it at that for your chromatic practicing. There's so many cool different cell shapes that you can do. So this is a little four note chromatic cell. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the root. We could say that this is F7, G on tenor. We're gonna go. So what we're doing is we're going chromatically down to the seventh, then back to the root. Then when we go descending, it creates a really cool circular movement. Great, really cool exercise. All right, now we've come to the final exercise. So now we're gonna get into triplets. Triplets are super important and we're gonna combine uh, uh, one of the uh, topics that we talked about before with triplets. We're gonna do a, an approach note, a scale approach note exercise with triplets. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go down chromatically to the next note. Sometimes we'll do a whole step here with the spacing of the scale. Anyway, play it on tenor, it sounds like this. Then when we go down, we just go one, two, three. Great, and that's it. 10 awesome uh, warm up exercise that I really feel every jazz musician should be able to do and it's an amazing uh, uh, practice routine to go through that stuff. Um, and all of the uh, all of the PDFs are available on my website, so make sure to check that out. Ascending, descending, and all 12 keys. It's all up there. So uh, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, make sure to always check out uh, shows for tour dates. I'm always playing tour dates throughout the world. I've always got people asking when are you gonna be somewhere. And sometimes they've just missed it. Sometimes it's like, oh, I was just there two months ago. And sometimes it's coming up. So check out the show dates and, uh, and hope to meet you guys soon. All right, see ya.